Hello everyone, this is Kaifu here with another video for you guys. Now today's video will be another product review. Now today's product review will be based on the latest set of Force Sword itself, which is the uh, Moonlit Savior. So this set has a lot of hype and so on, but before I go on into like open the box and so on and tell you guys how I feel, uh, when you purchase the box you also get a uh, promo alternate art version of uh, Muja the Queen Fantasy Will as you can see, uh, looks pretty nice and so on. Like. It looks pretty neat to me, and so on, uh, from my point of view. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm gonna, let's get on with the video itself. So yeah, this is the box itself. Uh, I just took off the uh, plastic thing to make it faster for you guys to see. Uh, so I'll be showing you guys what you get in this box. Uh, before I open the box and so on, this box is very, very different compared to your other previous uh, boxes. Uh, for, for this one, it's actually solid. It's pretty much like the Wing Golf set uh, boxes. Like this quality is really, really uh, rough. So pretty much you can when you purchase these boxes, you already have like a box itself to storage cards. So I'll show you what I mean. So yeah, you get the box and so on, and you get like packs and in there so on. So this is the inserter, uh, you just put it in like this. You can see, you got your inserter and so on. Uh, you guys might not even see it, but yeah. Um, yeah, not much to be say about this. Uh, you, uh, it's 36 pack per box, like usually. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, 36 boxes, 30, uh, 40 minutes rotation, 2 players, 10 packs, uh, 10 cards per pack, and 36 packs in one box, like I said before. 13 plus age for some reason has been mentioned. So yeah, like you, when you buy this box, you, you're already getting something really, really good out of it. So yeah, and also you can put like this if you want to, um, like neat and nice tidy. So let's get on with like opening boxes because I'm excited. I'm not sure about you guys, but I'm very excited myself. So um, this set itself has a huge impact because uh, it changed the meta for us at the moment. Uh, prior to this set comes out, uh, well, it was already out anyway. Um, the set itself, uh, the current format itself is just very fast in New Frontier uh, because with last and so on, just very very fast. Uh, it's very hard to keep up with. And usual, and as not usual, as your usual, you get your uh, force of will, uh, will power point system, so you can put it into your app if you want it. Uh, there's surprisingly some uh, dual color uh, cards in here, like we said, uh, space time. Uh, this card is really really good because it's. Uh, it's actually like a removal spell, but also lets you draw the card. So uh, this card might be seeing something later, play later on. See over here, blah blah blah. Time travel, nightmare, radius. Uh, this is pretty much to uh, summon a uh, demon from your hand with it. Demon. Blah, blah. Yeah, darkness resonate from your hand, so you can pretty much summon Mephistopheles yeah, so and so on. Whatever is big. Um, this bouncer card that so is really really good because meaning that in the current format it's usually enforceable so it's just two costs and it's pretty much your power play so you can use this bounce your opponent's power play cards back to the hand. Um, now this card is really really good. It's been seeing a lot of mention at the moment because uh, wall of the wind so pretty much you cancel a spell, any spell you like, and unless the control pays one more, so it's a turn one cancel spell, so it's really, which is really good against like last one so on. Uh, uh, which is this, another elf, Timekeeper Elf, uh, De Demonic uh, Commander. So, pretty much, uh, when this card deals damage to your opponent, you're able to uh, force them to discard a card. So, this is our rare for the day. And then I have, ooh, a Regalia as well. Orb of Disaster. So, pretty much, this is for the uh, Red J Rule. I can't remember the top of my head. But, yeah. So, uh, I'm assuming it's like 13 SRs and so on. And, yeah. 13 SR, like uh, 7 full arts. Two rulers, and uh, yeah, that's all I'm expecting. And also, I got a uh, uh, Sinyon's uh, Sinyon Hume. Uh, again, I'm bad at pronouncing names, so don't judge me. So, this is our rare holo rare for the day. So, you get two rares per butt pack. Well, actually, I got three, so I'm not sure it's three or two, so yeah. Um, so far, so good. I'll just move this aside so everyone can see the whole cards and so on. So, I'll put my uh, regalas here, rares, and, and holo rares over here so you guys can see. Uh, like, so what I'm looking forward to the set is because the format will get slowed down because the current format, like, like I said before, at the moment is just very very fast. It's not too fun at the moment because uh, I don't want to die on turn four and turn three. So yeah, <laughs> not the friendliest format at the moment. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, this is the kind of see before. Draw card. 
Oh, no, right. This is the one that can cancel our, like, Outer World. Uh, so what it does is that when it comes to play, you draw a card, so, which is only benefiting you. Uh, when a spell or ability your opponent controls target a Resonator or j Relief control, uh, you may banish this card and, uh, and force, and you do cancel it. So pretty much, um, uh, this will allow you to cancel, like, uh, Outer World, because Outer World, uh, can't be chased, but this is a continuous effect, so this will trigger right away if you want to. Uh, let's see, uh, you have your, um, this card, uh, you have the Witch, Witch of the Night, uh, so 0-8, uh, it's pretty much good for turn 1 play because it's a 0-8, so you can defend a lot of attack points, because, like, at the moment, the, the issue with this format at the moment is that everything dies of Lancelot's attack, because, uh, it's easily can be raised to 1k and then burn something off, so something like this can defend against Lancelot, which is really good if you need it, and also got a Magic Stone as well. And I got a uh, a common rare. So this is this ma uh, magic screwed? Oh, magic screwed. I thought it was mana screwed. But uh, this is our color our common. Rare. So what it does is that add a resonate gets plus six plus six as long it with uh, as long as it doesn't have any attributes. So it's really good for any void type of deck. Uh, so in origin, um, origin you can use it with uh, uh, with what you call it, uh, Machina, because Machina is tier one ish. I should say, I say it's one. It's one of the tier one decks out there at the moment in uh, in Origin because it's just very, very good. And obviously, you got your Magic Stone here. Rares over there. Point system over there. I'll speed through this really quickly because obviously I don't want to waste your guys' time, and obviously I don't want to prolong this video because last time I think I made it like very, very long. So yeah, uh, rules I'll be expecting. I would want from here is that uh, I want anything darkness related because I play darkness majority of the time. <laughs> I'll mention anything I'll, I'll see from here. Like there's nothing in here. Uh, again, in this set, there's some. Uh, there's a lot of reprint from the jewel deck. So for example, you see like brick eggs and so on. They will be reprinted in the set. Uh, again. And like magic stone. And I got a oh. Oh, this is actually classic. Take a look itself. Uh, this is actually full art now, so it's actually like uh, has texture onto it. So, uh, from my point of view, I like these uh, new full art now because back then, uh, in the previous, the full art has like a stamp here, and sometimes it can get in the way of the text, which I don't like. Uh, but these full art, I like it because they have texture. They're pretty much like uh, SP in uh, Wage War, uh, Car Fight Banger, and uh, Body Fight. Uh, so, yeah. This card has been talked a lot, and a lot of people say that uh, a lot of people say that this card is terrible because of the Errata. Uh, because uh, before the Errata, the Errata said it has to be on the field and remove a bunch of cards from your graveyard and activate ability. But now this has to be in the graveyard and remove itself. I say it's a really good card because uh, uh, when you play on the field, sure, it's a vanilla, but when it dies, uh, you can't actually. Uh, you can actually use it in your graveyard to activate an ability. Not only that, is it discard fodder for like Guinevere and so on. Uh, discard outlet for like uh, if you're playing, playing Spiral Despair, you can discard this. Uh, so it's really good against uh, countering uh, your opponent discarding you or you paying cost for your discard outlet. So which is really good. Uh, That's what I like about this card at the moment. A lot of you guys like uh, from what I've seen in the Facebook group don't like it because of the rather the, you prefer the, the one stays on the field. I, I don't prefer to say I'll stay on the field sadly because um staying on the field means I have to protect it and obviously I'd rather save my resource to protect something is useful. So, but that's from my point of view. Uh, this card also been talked a lot as well for Kagiya uh, 1.0. Uh, this is pretty much, uh, you need a Darkness Magic Stone to open this, uh, activate this. Uh, so pretty much when your opponent uh, plays a, uh, a free cost, uh, no, not free, when, play, when they play a uh, Resonator this turn, you may flip this over. If you do, destroy a free cost of the low Resonator. So you can kill Lancelot right away, which is really, really nice. What this, uh, kind of this uh, format needs at the moment, for all the game mechanics should say needs at the moment. I also like this card as well. Uh, so pretty much in the late game, it, this is an amazing uh, removal spell because uh, if you can fill your graveyard really quickly, it's just like one drop massive removal. A hollow uh, stone. And uh, this ox, <laughs> uh, this not ox, yeah. This uh, ox, uh, I'm not sure how I feel about it. It's a two drop, it's decent, uh, but I think uh, I might see some uh, Sacred Beast deck in the future because uh, Sacred Beast has a lot of support because of uh, this guy's ability, like, able to, like, <laughs> because back then, uh, Sacred Beast in the Seven King set didn't have a lot of support, so uh, in this set, it has uh, quite a bit of support, so which will allow you to, like, 
get your stuff going and so on. I think I missed a rare in here. I think I must miss a rare in this, in this part, but I don't, I don't think I missed any rare at the moment, so yeah. Uh, with this guy as well. Uh, this guy is okay, a free drop 7-7, uh, seven, seven. <laughs> dies to Lancelot pretty easily, but uh, however, whenever this card blocks, uh, attacks or blocks, reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a resonator, uh, this, this card gain plus 3, plus 3, otherwise put it back bottom, because it works with, well with the new ruler, the blue ruler, uh, because you keep revealing, checking and so on, so you know what, when to block, when to attack, so. But the problem with this is that, um, it requires things set up and so on, so you sometimes you might not able to set everything up on time. Uh, let's see, uh, not much here. So, also speaking of uh, Kalia before, uh, Kalia has a uh, latest version of it, which is the uh, White Ruler. Uh, the Bright Ruler can cancel any automatic ability or turn your Moonstone into like, producing green, so which allows you to like get everything you need. And also, each time you're playing a Moon type card in the field, you're able to gain the effect to draw a card, so it, it helps a lot. Whoops, <laughs> did not see that coming. Uh, this card is an we have another fairy now, which is a Moon Breeze fairy. Uh, pay one Moon, uh, plus two, plus two. Uh, you can back to be once per turn. So yeah, which is really really good so on because uh, a lot of these cards are underwhelming. Not not underwhelming, but uh, how do I say it? Like the one drop in in uh, compared to red is like nothing. Red has Rook Egg, Rook has Move, uh, uh, Guinevere. They have best one drops in out of every single color. Like yes, uh, black has some good one drop, but it's nothing compared to like what red has. Like I wish black, I wish all color has some equal power to red because red has a searcher, which is Rook Egg, and every single color doesn't have a searcher. So I find that kind of unfair from my point of view. Don't know about you guys. And our uh, Magic Stone, and also. Another full art SR. Uh, so pretty much this one is. Uh, let's see when this ends. Oh, so it just it combos nicely with the new blue rule, I can say. So uh, I really like the, the new new full art. Like I said before, look, uh, it doesn't cover the text because with the force of wheel and the little symbol here, uh, I didn't like it. But now you can see the force of wheel symbol behind the background, as you can see, and the texture is like a. And they have texture on these cards as well, so you guys will see what you mean, see what I mean when you buy packs and see how it is when you pull a full art and so on. Next pack, uh, ruler wise, uh, for next format, I'm not sure what to expect, uh, but obviously the black ruler and the uh, I can't remember isn't it? the black ruler and the uh, Kalia has he seems to be good, good be some plays. Uh, I have my rare here, which is uh, the bamboo bullet. Um, anything worth mentioning here? Not really, but I got an SR. Uh, Tsukiyomi. Uh, Tsukiyomi is a really, really amazing card because it's a moon. So uh -huh. you can play with a little uh, little red riding hood. Uh, because now you can play like, play this and flip it over, instant kill, like turn 2 play. But uh -huh. I don't think anyone will do that. But still, a 5 7 2 drop. Uh, players cannot activate active abilities uh, of a resonator they control unless they have a moon resonator. So this is a moon resonator, or a moon card, should I say. So, yeah. Which is really good. Uh, I like a lot of these cards and so on. Sorry, I've been rambling, but I'm trying to keep the topic on. Uh, keep the topic on, uh, so you guys can like enjoy what I'm pulling and so on instead of like me rambling. Oh, speaking of rookie, we have rookie right here. Uh, and sorry for the noise outside. I don't know why it's so noisy out there. Uh, we have uh, this card right here. When this enters the field, you may put a water resident from the third one. Oh, so this card just spams cards field on the field, so which is nice for blue because blue is kind of weak ish. And speaking of weak ish, uh, well, not weak, but we have Valentina, uh, the puppet monarch. So this card is really really good because uh, it's very heavy to mid to late game. Uh, so when it's enters the field, gain control of the target resident, your opponent controls as long as this card is remaining on the field. So you permanently steal the card, so it's like a brain control or mind control card. You play steal some dude and so on as long as you remain on the field. But however, it's an 8 8, so you just get knocked out by outer world and so on. So uh, if you're able to protect this, you're able to steal your opponent's best resonator and so on. An uncommon holo. Let's see what's our rare. Our rare is this. And sorry for the noises outside, guys. Um, can't be helped. And uh, obviously, again, uh, rook eggs get reprinted and so on. So you guys can like get your rook eggs and not buying like the uh, dual decks and so on. Because a lot of people say, oh, I couldn't get the dual deck on time and they sold out everywhere. So uh, I missed out. But now everything got reprinted in uh, in the Seven Kings set, Twilight Wanderer, and um, Moonlight Savior. So you don't need to complain anymore. Again, a lot of reprinted from the dual deck, like such as these. 
uh, and also uh, this car has been a lot of talk as well. Uh, it's very very slow, but help, it helps Grim because it's a fairy tale searchable search it out and it protects you all your other fairy tales. However, it's very 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 slow because it's a free cost, so you can't explode off like on turn two play like such as like search out for this important turn two protect yourself. And the stat is very weak uh, for free drop, so I don't know how I feel about it. a weak drop resonator. So yeah, a hollow stone and um. I uh, have a uh, keeper of the present. So, uh, like, goddess and so on. Uh, this card is is okay. I, I like it. It's not the one of the best cards, but it's still a good card to use. And then I uh, have a non foil version of it in the same pack. So, <laughs> uh, it means something, something I have to play with. And I'm surprised I haven't pulled any like rulers yet for a lot more regale than I thought. So yeah, uh, hopefully it'll if I do pull, uh, let me say that. Hopefully I pull a god pack so you guys can see how god pack it is in here. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see nothing worth mentioning. Oh, Lucifer. Lucifer is one of the best uh, card in this uh, set because it supports Angel. So pretty much you can use the previous Angel set from uh, Seven King, which is Celestial, and call this guy out because back then uh, in Seven Kings you only call a, a, a vanilla flying. Now you can call this guy out, and when this comes to play, uh, you able to uh, force your opponent to sacrifice and resonate their control, and it doesn't target, so they can't get around it. And it's an Angel Demon and uh, flying. I uh, pay one night, uh, one darkness, one moon. Uh, when this card deals damage, uh, you gain that much life. So it's pretty much a uh, dark fiery effect combined with chameleon on a stick. <laughs> uh, I like this card. Uh, I wish I can get a full art version of it, but obviously, uh, I'd rather get a one Lucifer than no Lucifer. So yeah, um, uh, pitch black moon. Um, this card, uh, I don't know. This card is okay, but uh, it says your J rule gains plus two plus two as long as darkness. But if, if you didn't say the darkness part, it would be great because our uh, little red riding hood, when you play a moon, flip it over now, it's a uh, 14 in six, so it's out of range of thunders. Uh, but uh, however, it's only uh, for darkness uh, J rule, so it doesn't really help. But if you say just uh, J rule gains plus two two, it will be a bit, a bit better for little red. Uh, but since it doesn't. Oh well. When, my, when I mean by Little Red, I mean Little Red Riding Hood, the Wolf Girl, and so on. Not the green one. Uh, let's see. Oh! Uh, this card is kind of awesome because uh, it, it, it's a free drop 7 7, so it's really high stats already. Uh, let's see. Search your deck for a moon, reveal it in your hand. So it's a searcher itself. But uh, I prefer it as a 2 cost. Uh, like Laura. Laura is a 2 cost, free, free search for any vampire. You play this search for any moon and add to your hand. I prefer it as a 2 cost with like, lower stats, for example, 4 4, 3 3, uh, whatever it is. But I don't think. I think it's kind of harsh uh, putting it as a. Uh, a free drop because it's a very mid to late game card. And I have another full art stone, uh, not full art stone, a full art card, uh, which is one of the special stone. It, it, it actually glows down here, so which is kind of interesting. Uh, so, so this is pretty much for the blue J ruler. Uh, I'll put this down here because it is a stone. It's, a, it's a, one of the special stones. So far, uh, let's see what we have so far. We have like one, two, three, four, five. I uh, have five SR at the moment. Uh, two of them is full art, one special stone, uh, one uh, regalia, uh, a lot of hollow cards, and yeah, not much to explain. Let's see. Uh, this card is kind of interesting uh, because um, when something dies, uh, wait, is something like graveyard? Oh, so when it, when it goes to graveyard, you can put it back to your hand so you recycle itself. Uh, this card. I'm surprised I've only seen one at the moment because this card is being talked a lot lately because it cancels a spell and can't be countered if you pay the moon. So now it's like an uncountable, unchaseable spell. Uh, but however, you can counter any spell you want. So it, one white, one green cancel any spell. So which is really, really good. And so on. Uh, another special stone. Uh, this is a special stone for uh, when, uh, when you control a J ruler, banish this card. So kind of dodgy effect, but however, you can play with Yudrisu, uh, the uh, the new ruler. So it's, it, with Yudrisu, it actually counteracts the rush deck because rush deck it can do as much damage as they want, but if you push me to zero, I can bring out a big dude. So so yeah, that's how I feel about it. And, uh, stone. And uh, this card's okay, I guess. But again, this card will be seeing a lot. A lot of play in the format. So, yeah. Uh, hopefully, I don't to make too much less mess on my table. 
let's see what can I get. Another counter spell and Demon Flame reprint as well. So you now you can get your Demon Flame and not hope for the fact that you can pull it from your uh, dual deck you can just get from your latest expansion box. And I got another um, Izume. Uh, a non holy version of it, so, which is nice. Uh, I prefer Darkness card anyway. And uh, this card, um, Flower Kingdom. I see a Swallow from Pokemon. <laughs> so, uh, recently I control, uh, you get plus two, plus two, so it actually allows you to like pump all your uh, Fairy Resonators. Uh, fairy Tail Resonators, I should say, not Fairy Resonators. Uh, so, yeah, it's really, really amazing and so on. That goes over here. And our rare is Demon the Black Moon. Um, five, seven, two drops. Not bad. Uh, but do you have to use Awakening to actually use a benefit? Use a full benefit? Um, that she has a vanilla. Let's see uh, what we get. Uh, so far, so good. Hopefully, I'm not wasting you guys' time uh, because I am doing this quite slow. Uh, let me speed it up so you guys can like not get bored of me doing this and so on. Uh, you have uh, for Hollow you have Priestia Call of Action. Yeah, because uh, the reason I'm doing this because a lot of guys like <gasps> the rare went into another pile. Why would you do this? Oh, okay, okay. Uh, you guys want me to do this way? I can do it this way, but obviously we're a bit slower. And uh, I have the Keeper of the Future. Uh, this card is very interesting because you remove the top two card, and then this card deals 100 damage, uh, multiple combination, uh, combined total cost of that card to a J Ruler or a Resonator. So you can actually kill a J Ruler randomly because if you mill, like for example, a seven cost card, burn 700 damage to it, and that's remove. That's only one of them. So yeah, um, pretty interesting card. I like it. And obviously one stone again. So far, I have two special stone, one regalia, uh, two, four, six, seven, seven, uh, seven uh, SR. I haven't played rulers yet, surprisingly. I'll be ashamed if I put no stone rulers. I'll be like so sad. I'm like, I want my ruler. Uh, oops, that's the way. I uh, have another special stone. And, uh,. And the dragon card. Now this is a two cost. Uh, when sent to view, remove the top two cards of your main card from the game whenever this can attack. Uh, so you remove a small card from your, from your top of the deck, so it, which allows you to set up your power play for the uh, red card. Uh, this card is really good because you can cycle out like toolbox your removal part because they're uh, making Necromonicon and Lumia usable with this card. Like I get back what I just remove and so on. Any resin here? Let me check first before you guys like <gasps> go like you put a rare in the common pile. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. I know that I know a lot of you guys like. Why would you put a common in uh, rare in the common section? Like accident happens, I guess. Uh oh, another Lucifer. Nice. Uh, this one's a hollow version Lucifer again. So so far so good. I'm getting my darkness card compared to my other two previous boxes, which I got no dark resin in it. I wanted like you said, I want dark fiery. I never got. Well, I got. I think I got one. I want a Dark Alpha, I didn't get that much, I only got two or something along the line. And oh, I have a full art version of, and also um, a uh, Avatar of Seven King Alice. Now, this card combines nicely with the uh, Yudrisu Ruler because whenever a card will deal damage to you, it deals damage to this card instead. So, if they play Split Heaven Earth, they do 2000 damage, this takes 2000 damage instead, so which is really funny. And also, uh, we have uh, Demonic Demon, so. Uh, Two full, three full arts so far. So I'm assuming I have four more full arts in here. Uh, SR goes in here. Red goes over there. So yeah, more just got reprinted as well. So I don't think anyone care about more just at the moment, unless it, unless it gets good like sometime in the future. But at the moment, it's pretty mediocre. There's a four drop. Temp mark reprint again. Oh wow, I actually got a. Uh, <laughs> I thought I got four got double SR, but it's actually a. Uh, Appreciate um, the red, red and uh, red and green version of it. Uh, first swiftness target and first strike automatic right off the bat free drop one green one red one color. So which is really good because now you can like randomly wang into something. Uh, it's a free cost though, so you have to uh, slowly set up and it is within range for thunder. And you pay one green. Um, give this card flying and when this card goes to the graveyard uh, from your field, deal find that damage to your opponent. So it's pretty much like a little thunder card, uh, which is really really cool. And the whole version goes here, and uh, the SR. Uh, we have uh, 
I, I love butcher these names pretty badly. Senya uh, Yi. Okay, I think I already butchered the name, so I'm not gonna bother going on from there. Uh, so this is one of the cards that everyone's been talking about. It's a six card resonator. Uh, however, I think it's uh, I don't know how people this card. It is good, but it's a late game card. So you want to get a lot of power play in your early game. So this card's really good for the late game. Uh, and so on, because like if you draw it at the wrong time, it doesn't really help you at all. I'm surprised if I haven't pulled in J Bull yet, so now I'm kind of worried am I even going to pull a J Bull at all? <laughs> so, yeah, let's see how it goes for now. I'm, I'm now Valentina, so off of that. Stone. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now I'm getting kind of worried now because I'm having full a rule yet, so <laughs> obviously you, you, want, you want a new rule to play some new cards, right? And uh, <laughs> a full out version of uh, all the disease, or oh, not all the disease, all the disaster <laughs> in full art version, obviously. This uh, over here, yeah, not much to be saying. As the same. So far, we have whoopsie, one, two, uh, three, four, five. Yeah, we're five full arts at the moment, so I'm expecting two more full arts perhaps. That's what I'm expecting at the moment, so I could be wrong about the full arts, and yeah. But so far, we have uh, two regalias uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven SRs, three special stones, two regalias, like seven, and zero J rules at the moment. Now I'm wondering, is that is this the error box that you get no J rules? But if it is, I'm gonna be so sad. So sad. Okay, another full art card. <laughs> I was like holding what was this? Oh, uh, pretty much um, uh, this uh, put a count on this card and this entire J will get plus two two for each support count on this. So it's zero one drop zero six, so which is real nice at uh, defending against last one and so on. So yeah. <laughs> another SR speaking of SR. Uh, I have uh, this is support for Sacred Beast. Um, 10, uh, 10, 10 uh, 6 drop, uh, which allows you to play whatever cards for converted matter you play onto the field. So, yeah. Let's see, uh, I'm making a big mess at the moment on my table, so hopefully it doesn't knock down the camera or so on, whatever the line. And a uh, Marrow Bell uh, turned into like a resonator, a 5 cost resonator, 12 12, piercing, really good. So good, should I say. I'm surprised that I'm having. I think a lot of these, some of these comments cards are short printed because I haven't pulled a lot of like the cancel spell I expect it to be. But then again, I could be wrong. Oh, this card. Oh, this card has been so much thought lately because uh, it works with our uh, blue decks because now uh, it, blue has a cancel spell now, so you can flip it up and yeah. Speaking of J Ruler, oh wow. <laughs> wow, sick. I got a full art version of the J Ruler I really wanted. Usually, when I buy these boxes, I would never get the card I want, but I actually got the J Ruler I wanted. Wow, sick. So, obviously, um, uh, pretty much is it on the rule side? It's a body with a uh, barrier uh, for any uh, for only for regalia. So when you deactivate, your opponent activate it doesn't uh, stop them. But yeah, sick. My first J ruler. Uh -huh. I bet you guys are jelly, right? Very jelly. Cause I know I will be. <laughs> uh, that's one J ruler down. So one more to go. Unless we get a card pack for J rulers, which <laughs> is gonna be very funny. Another. Oh, okay. So now I have a hollow version, a non hollow version, and a full art version. Okay then. So yeah, I'm gonna skim through now because I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know what Major of the Cards does. <laughs> Nothing to spoil it at all. All you have to see is that when we pull my second J Roller, oh man, that's all you'll be seeing at the moment. Another regalia. This is for the uh, white, uh, not white, for the blue J Roller. I'm surprised I haven't pulled a lot of cancel spell, and yeah, I'm surprised I haven't pulled a lot of cancel spell, like the uh, uh, the double color counts cancel spell, and I have like a few packs left, like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, like about ten-ish more packs left. Ooh, crap, 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 crap. You didn't see nothing. <laughs> uh, 
uh, full hollow version of the SR Dragon we just pulled not too long ago. And another stone. Let's recap a little bit about now because I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys lost track by now. Um, so for our allies, we have one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven. Seven full art, so including one Jero, one stone, and some random stuff over here. Regalia, we have one, two, three, four regalias. SR wise, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, uh, twelve, thirteen, four, uh, thirteen so far, so yeah. And uh, one Jero, obviously, uh, obviously, there is one more somewhere in this, in this pile, just never don't know where it is. Uh, special stone again. Uh, this is a special stone for uh, moon or white. Uh, this card has been seen a lot of play as well, which is silence spell, so you give it to your opponent's resonator. Major of time you will not give it to yourself because you do not want this on your field. So you give it to your opponent now, each time your opponent plays a normal spell, they have to pay two more as long as this card is under it. So it's which is really good, stun your opponent down, and so on, So which is amazing. Slow your opponent down really, really dramatically. Oh, sick. And uh, another regal, this one is for the uh, the other J Ruler. Uh, not J Ruler, the other Ruler, which is Jujutsu, and also for Alice as well, which is nice. Uh, not a chance, can't destroy Dark Resonance or on blah, blah, nothing interesting. So, yeah. So alright guys, almost done. Uh, hopefully it didn't went over like 25 minutes or something because I'm pretty sure half of you guys are bored already. Another special stone. I uh, hope no, nothing falls from here because it's getting quite high now. And only one j roller. Now I'm kind of worried. I'm supposed to get two j rollers, but I only got one. Another four stone. Uh, and yeah, nothing new. How many packs left? I won. Two, uh, three, four, five, six. So six more packs left. So let's put this box down here. So six packs left. So let's see, can we get a J roll in the cell at least? One more at least. <laughs> uh, maybe a couple SR. Well, maybe one or two more SR. And uh, yeah. Uh, we have the regalia for uh, for the uh, Kaguya and the beast for this one. And, uh, Oh, enough of Mushio. Not bad. Not bad at all. Five packs left. So again, like, like if, this, uh, if I stop like rambling and so on, uh, I expect a lot of like control deck in this format, and also obviously I've another regular for this guy over here. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys are jelly. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, jelly. Actually, I don't know you guys are jelly or not, because I'm pretty sure like some of you guys got the like ah. Uh, Complete Quest 1 or whatever it's called. Uh, this card also has been a lot of talk, so uh, you can mold in your hand again, so which is really nice. If you have like a really horrible hand, you can just redo it again, which is nice once in a while. Because this the, uh, this game requires sometimes a mediocre hand or at least a good hand to play well. Ah. Oh, oh snap. Another full art and another SR. Uh, full art of Precia. And uh, another SR. Uh, three packs left, and uh, and yeah, I haven't pulled a another J roller. So, am I only getting one J roller? Now I'm getting kind of worried because now this is my, might be my third or fourth record of like terrible box. I might as well rename like Project Review Terrible Box by Kai Fu. <laughs> oh, no J roller. Uh, this one's the five version, obviously. Uh, timeline or the question is the Observer. Uh, this can be only flipped over by paying 14 resources, 2 red, 12 colorless, but you can reduce the cost by 1 for each card you remove pile, so it requires a lot of setup, but when you flip on the field, it's gonna go bananas. And if you, mm, yeah, that's about it. Two packs left. I don't expect these packs has anything else left because obviously I pull the majority of everything. Oh, except for maybe another special stone for uh, for the observer. Oh, the observer. I should stop doing that. I think I might creep you guys out. Almost done. One pack left. What? What pool? What pool? God pack? Perhaps not. 
<laughs> I'm saying perhaps not because I'm pretty sure I'm like a full guard pack. Oh, special stone for uh, black and white. Uh, not black and white. Uh, black and moon. So which is nice. And obviously uh, we have uh, seven of the sacred moon. And that's a random check. So yeah, that's the uh, product review, guys. So you get. Uh, let's see. Let's go. Uh, uh, how should I say? Recap everything we pulled so far. So for recap, we have uh, 36 uh, points. <laughs> I'm just teasing, guys. So obviously for ruler, you have two rulers. Uh, one for uh, one for us, so you get two rules per box, hopefully, unless you got an error one. So yeah, um, next we have five hollow basic stone and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine non-foil basic stone. So you will get at least thirteen. Uh, there's thirteen. No, fourteen. Five of them will be hollow. Nine of them will be not hollow. Perhaps this least, least important one. Uh, for a uh, special stone, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 special stones, uh, which is uh, 1 full art, 1 hollow, and so on. So you'll get 5, uh, five uh, basic ones, uh, which is non hollow, and 1 ho like one hollow and 1 full art, so it depends what you get, I guess. So this is like the okayish one. Regalia have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 regalias, <laughs> 3 orb of disaster. <laughs> Not the one I needed, but A is something, right? Um, and obviously, um, five non hollows of the uh, regalias. So, yeah. Now, on to the exciting part, which is the full art and SR. So, full art and SR, let's combine all the ones because it's too hard to keep that uh, separated. I have one, two, three, four, five, uh, five, six. Seven, eight, eight full art in a box. And obviously that uh, that's for non SR. So SR we have one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen SR per box. So yeah, you get fourteen SRs, uh, eight to seven, seven to eight uh, full arts. Special stone, you get five of uh, the basic one, uh, non hollow one, and five not maybe some hollow one. Uh, some hollow regalias or non hollow regalia, five, five basic uh, regalia, which is your non hollow one, two rulers, and so on. So, thank you for watching. Thank you for this, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys next time. Peace.